in this lecture of statistics we will learn how to do cross tabulations and also use chi-square so cross tabulations are very important if you have variables and you want to have them in cross tabulations we'll see a demonstration it's very useful for your data analysis and also even visualization so before we start we'll go ahead and change this let's delete this section and go to fill column width let's choose instead of one so from 300,000 to 500,000 and then let's choose 50,000 and hit okay so now what we have here is homes so for homes with 350,000 or for homes with different prices you have different regions we've chosen regions one to four and you can rename this to maybe countries or for states or whichever and you have different number of bedrooms for different prices but if you have this data and you want to explain to someone you have rows of about thousand it's so difficult but using cross tabulations it becomes easy and you can also use chi-square and others to determine the relation between variables that you choose so let's let's do a quick demonstration just head over to statistics go to descriptive statistics and head over to cross tabulation so this is your cross tabulation pop-up what you want to do is choose a row so you will understand but let's choose this as our row let's choose c okay let's choose b instead so b as our region and let's choose layers you are you see this in a bit so hold on and in in the statistics column let's choose so you can choose what you want to do if you just want count so you wanted to count let's say all all the numbers um, it will do that for you let's just choose count and maybe we'll add some more later and the test so we are done with the cross tabulation side now this is the test if you have a chi-square test you can you can choose the measure of association so make sure you understand or you research into these associations let's just go with contingency and at this point you have your cross tab report and you also have your plot data so if you want them in a new workbook you can choose let's just keep it in a new worksheet and also choose a mosaic plot This is your cross tab it looks simple so in a cross tab let's come back to our worksheet remember we have a a selling price of the home b is the region and c is the bedroom now in the cross tab we have region we have bedroom so if you want a two bedroom for and now here you have a and b so for a you have your price and b you have which region they are so let's say if you want a two bedroom house for three hundred thousand in region one you find 14 of them in your data set you find 12 of, you have find 13 for region two if you come to region one let's say this is california for this this is bedroom so for a one bedroom house in region one which is california maybe you find 14 for new york you find 15 for london you find 12 and for maybe south africa you find 13. so that is how you do your cross tabulations and it also gives you a total cross tabulation so you can have sorry this is it you can have a total 
here of all 300,000 homes in region 1 is 45 and the total count is 1000. If for some reason you want to change the parameters you just select this and come to change parameters come back to input and let's change this to C and remove this the layers let's rather make it B and hit OK so what this is saying is you have region 1 so in region 1 so this is region 1 if you want a $300,000 home with one bedroom you find 14 of them with two bedrooms you find 14 of them with three bedrooms you find 17 of them if you go to region 2 which let's say is California for a $300,000 home one bedroom you find 16 for $500,000 home one bedroom you find 25 so this is how you can also represent and do statistics on your data and you can also have the total you can come in and add change parameters you can add some of these statistics to it yeah uh, i just did count but you can add some of these statistics to it and let's head over to the mosaic side and let's just double click so this is also a representation of the total so you're saying that this is the price of the home and then this is the number of bedrooms to explain the mosaic plot you have to know that this is the total regions and these are the bedrooms so let's let's just so that we don't confuse ourselves let's you can rename this as bed rooms and then these are the these are the total regions okay so you have region one so you can even add some more text to it so let's add some text and let's call this region one let's add text and two and then and then three and then four so you can edit this to be so nice and then and then five so what this is saying is that if you come to region one for all three hundred thousand dollar homes with one bedroom you have this for two bedrooms you have this for all five hundred thousand dollar homes in region five you find this so that's a nice way and you can edit this as we've shown previously just double click and you can edit them dependently or independently and make it very nice for your presentation so that is that is what cross tabulation can do let's just click this to go back and you can choose let's say region one and just demonstrate what it is in there yeah and you can also come and do the chi square test make sure you understand this and also the measure of association that we chose so you see the results that if you have region one the pearson chi square says at the 0 0.05 level there is not significant evidence of association between two variables so if you check we are not we have strong association so it means when you come to region one you most likely find a strong association between finding a three hundred thousand dollar home or a five hundred thousand dollar home and a bedroom so you have strong association here and you can also use the measures so we chose the measure we chose contingency coefficient so it gives you what it does here whatever that you choose it gives you some kind of brief you can also research that online so you can see that region one is kind of greater than region two and then region three is less and then region four is less 
so you're finding less association between finding a home of any price and then the number of bedrooms yeah that reflects in here as well okay so that will be it for cross tabulation and for chi square so make sure you come in and manipulate some of these 